Hello everyone, happy Friday, happy weekend. Thank you for a really lovely first week back. It's been a great week. We had all of those amazing animals um, come in. A big thank you to Sarah, one of our parents, he brought them in, that was amazing. Real highlight and we forgot introducing our caterpillars. We named them all today and now my poor memory is going to have to remember them. So the names are, we've got Belle, I named Belle from Beauty and the Beast. We've got Rainbow, we've got Monster Truck, we've got Mario, and the birthday girl today, Isabella chose it, and I think she said love heart. So hello, caterpillars. I've got a new book, brand new book, um, all about bugs. We're doing the Hungry Caterpillar again next week, but this book is amazing. My Ida absolutely loves it, um, and actually it's taught me lots about the person at the end, which I'll share with you. So it's called The Girl Who Loves Bugs. That's a bit like me, isn't it? And it's by Lily Murray and Jenny Lovely. So let's see what she gets up to. And I know also just to let the parents know, the children are really excited because we're going to be building a giant bug hotel for the coronation and we're going to call it Buckingham Bug Palace um, for our royal guests, our royal caterpillars. Okay, I hope you can see it. There's some beautiful pictures in this. Evie loves bugs, fat bugs and thin bugs, and bugs that can fly. Beautiful butterflies filling the sky. Lace wings and crickets and glistening trails, showing the way to leaf munching snails. Plump little larvae weaving cocoons, beautiful moths that come out with the moon. So many bugs to see and to find. I want to keep searching all of the time. But none of her family see it that way. Bugs are disgusting. I'll oh, take them away. The slimy and the dirty. They make me squirm. Spiders are scary and the worst are the worms. Oh, Evie, please, will you leave them alone? Yes, do hurry up, it's time to go home. All of the family is coming to stay and the house must be perfect in every way. But I just want to stop, to look and to touch. All this hurry up, it's just getting too much. Then her eyes start to shine and Evie smiles wide. Maybe it's time I brought them inside. Oh. I know why Evie wants to bring them inside. It's because she loves them and they're like her pets, aren't they? But I wonder what you think, children. Should she bring the mini beasts inside? Hmm. Evie fetches a bucket, a jam jar, a broom, collecting up insects to take to her room. They go under the floorboards, next to her books, into her cupboard in cosy dark nooks. There are ants in her drawers and weevils in socks, a family of wood lice under the clock. Look at that, I love this picture. All the mini beasts are scuttling underneath the bed. At bedtime, Evie calls quickly, Good night, no need for a story, I'll turn out the light. Don't tuck me in, I'm as snug as a bug. Then she quietly whispers, Sweet dreams to a slug. Smiling, she feels her bugs tiptoe along. Oh, oh, that they're escaping. I'm so happy, she thinks. What could possibly go wrong? But then the next day, there are cousins galore, all of them piling in through the door. Uncles and aunties, and scariest of all, Evie's great gran, so fierce and so tall. Evie just stands there, shock on her face for her bugs. She sees are all over the place. Oh my goodness. Imagine if that was what was going on in your house, all those mini beasts on the loose. Perhaps I can catch them before they are found. But now Evie's mum's calling everyone down. It's time for lunch. Follow me, come on through. Oh no, Evie thinks, what am I to do? They all take their places. Great Gran looks around. What's that noise, she asks, that strange whirring sound. I can't hear it, says Evie. I'm famished, let's eat. She's trying to ignore the snail on her seat. Uh-oh, look, it's chaos in this picture. Then great uncle Tony says, I've got an itch. 
while great aunt Sophia starts to fidget and twitch. Oh my goodness, says Ma, what's that in the moose? This room's full of bugs and they're all on the loose. There are slugs in the sad salad and beetles in cream. Perhaps, suggests Evie, it's some, some kind of dream. Her brother leaps up. I'm covered in ants. I know I'm not dreaming. <laughs> dreaming. They're inside my pants. <laughs> I know you will find that bit funny. That poor boy. Right, he turns to Evie. I'm sure you're to blame. Well, drawls great gran, would you like to explain? I can't help but notice a slug in your hand. Is this insect invasion all part of your plan? I love this picture of Evie with all the bugs. Evie looks down. It's just a mistake. They're my pets, you see, and they must have escaped. There's a terrible pause. Then Great Gran starts to laugh. You're a girl, she says, after my very own heart. Bugs are amazing. I've studied them too. And now I'll tell you what I'd most like to do. Let's catch all of these critters and make them a home. A great bug hotel, all of your own. They soon get to work. They make a wormery too. It's a five star amazing mini beast zoo. So that's what we're going to do. I think we'll use lots of palettes for ours. And also, I've, I'm starting off some sunflowers for us that I'll bring in so they could go by it. Evie turns to her parents. Is this allowed? They smile and sigh. Evie, we really are proud. We love your passion and how much you care. Now you've plenty of bugs. Let's just leave it there. Of course, says Great Gran with a wink and a smile. This will do nicely, at least for a while. And if Evie keeps looking with her curious mind, look, I love that book hotel. Who knows what wonders she may one day find. So you might think that's the end of the story. And when I first read this to Ida, I did. But there's this amazing bit here that tells you about how to build um, a good home for a bug. And it says you don't need to go and buy anything really expensive. You can just get some sticks and some twigs because they really like to live inside all of the nooks and crannies. And also it says if you get lots of pine cones and you put them together, they're really great for ladybirds to go in as well. And then this was my favourite bit. I'll just tell you about it quickly. This book was inspired by a real life entomologist um, that's a name for somebody that's an insect expert and her name was Evelyn Chessman now Evelyn lived a long time ago um, back in 1906 oh my goodness over 100 years ago and she she worked at the Natural History Museum or she went in there to work and she went on lots of tours around the world to find lots of the insects that are now there for us to study and that's why we know so much about insects, because she was a real person and she did that. And I found out an amazing story about her. In one country, she um, got stuck in a giant spider's web. And we were talking about spider's webs today, weren't we, with the busy spider book. Um, and to get out of it, she used her nail file. So she was stuck in this enormous web and to get out, she used her nail file. So she was an incredibly brave person. Um, and I, yeah, she's now one of my new heroes. Okay, so whether you're a girl or a boy, I hope you love bugs, just like Evie. And next week, we're going to do more bug hunting, more hungry caterpillar work. Um, and also, we're going to be looking after our lovely caterpillars. So it's goodbye from me. Oh, one's going up to the top. And it's a very big goodbye from Monster Truck, Mario, Love Heart, Belle. Did I say Mario already? Oh gosh, what was the other one? Mario Kart, no, Mario, Monster Truck, Love Heart, Belle, Rainbow. There we are. So goodbye from Rainbow. Okay, bye-bye.